Hi, it's David Rodman Astro. This is my third night here at Mule Creek, New Mexico, and photographing here with Bob Fugate uh, from Phoenix and from Michael um, from Apache Junction. And I've only got one scope set up right now. Let me show it to you. It's my AT setup, uh, my AT80. In this scope tonight, at least for the first three hours, I'm going to be shooting the Pleiades, and then um, the rest of the night, I will orientate it to Witch Head Nebula, and I will be shooting it pretty much until sunrise. I shot them both last night, and I did have the Lost Mandy up. In fact, I just tore the Lost Mandy down and packed it away into my car. Um, I'm having some issues with the rotator and a few other things and the camera angles and instead of fighting with it I decided to go ahead and pack it away and when I'm home in my backyard I can spend the time to deal with it. What we're finding here is that the temperatures get pretty brisk and by brisk I mean this morning when we came out to shut everything down, it was 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, everything was frosted up. Um, it's very cold and really, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> we didn't expect it to be quite this cold. In fact, Bob Fugate even has a wrap around his um, mount to kind of keep it warm because it keeps locking up on him especially in the middle of the night when it gets really really cold and we're down around 20 degrees. Bob's mount he's got his Tasha Hockey Epsilon 160 and his mount is the Ioptron Hem 44 EC and he has his ASI 6200 mm Pro camera along with his chroma filters and the ZWO filter wheel and he has the Falcon rotator and the Optech focuser and then he uses a he uses the AT60 as a guide scope which is kind of an interesting twist and I think it's actually a pretty good deal and then Michael I can never forget I can never remember how to pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to butcher it, and I'll just put it into the titles up here. He has a double-saddled Rokinon setup running off of 183, the ASI 183s. This one here is a monochrome with a filter wheel, and this one over here is color. So he's able to shoot both monochrome and color at the same time. And he's running them both with ASI Airs. I think this one's an ASI Air Plus and over here, yes, yeah, the ASI Air Mini that he has up there. And of course, it's riding on the ZWO AM5 mount. Then over here is his Celestron 9.25 with Hyperstar. And I'm not gonna show you the, what's inside, but he's running um, color uh, ASI 294 camera and it's also riding on the AM5 mount. Last night when I was photographing the Pleiades out here in New Mexico along with some other fellow astrophotographers I discovered that with the cold air because it was about freezing that my optics were pitched and you could see it especially in the bright stars of the Pleiades star cluster. And so what I'm going to do today here is I am going to see if I can resolve that problem. So the first thing I need to do is remove my Deep Sky Dad flat panel, which I just did. And then I've got to take off my dew shield and it's pretty simple really you just got to unscrew it there we go 
and it unscrews from the silver ring which is on the body of the OTA itself. There we go. And what that does is that then uncovers your lens cell. Now, the only tool that's required for this is a screwdriver. And there are three sets of screws. Actually, I think there's four sets of screws around the body. I'm going to move you here so you can see. Around the body of the lens cell. And what I'm looking for is the middle screw and not it's tight or loose. So that one seems to be loose. The one over here. And it really is just that easy and hopefully when I go back to shooting the Pleiades tonight I'll be able to tell if whether or not I need to check it out again so while I'm here got my soft brush and I'm just going to dust off the lens cell here. And screw my do cap back on. There we go. Okay, and voila, that's it. So, I'm gonna run it tonight and we'll see whether or not it got resolved.